<laughs> okay, so guys, um, here we go. So what I want you guys to do is you guys are going to, in, in an open, sort of in an open corner or something, you're going to draw a line that is six inches long. So that's a six inch long line. Okay? Then you are going to measure down one inch and you are going to draw a three inch long line centered on that. You're going to make this like tall, skinny, cross looking thing. Okay? You got that? You guys got that so far? Then you're simply going to connect all of those corner points up to make what looks like a tall, skinny kite. Old fashioned kite. If we put a tail on it, it would look like a kite. Okay? And it looks kind of like that, okay? Then you are going to take that shape right there and you're going to cut it out and you are going to put a crease right down the middle of it so that it folds like that. See that? Okay. Then, after you have made one of these, you'll use it as a pattern to make another one. So here's another one. So now I'm going to take that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to crease it right down the middle. Notice that this one doesn't have the extra lines in it. It's a little cleaner. All right. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to kind of attach it to that one. Okay. And then I'm going to do that again and again and again until I've kind of, until I have about, let's call it seven of these. Okay. So um, does that seem like pretty easy instructions? It's a lot easier than the, the horrible attempt that I did here, right? This thing did not work. So this is going to basically take a Frankenstein approach to doing this, OK? So um, you're, I want seven of these in a row, OK? So you'll have four facing one way and then three facing the other way. So four of them will face that way. Three of them will face this way. Okay? All right, so that's part one. Here comes part two. For part two, right, you are going to draw a six inch long line. Oops, let me do it with this. Sorry. How many minutes am I at? Oh, good. You're going to draw a six inch long line, just like you did before. You're going to measure down one inch, okay? And you are going to draw a cross piece that this time is four inches across, okay? And you're going to connect the corners up like you did before and then cut that whole thing out. So now I have something that looks even more like a real traditional kite. The proportions are getting closer, right? And what I want you to do is I want you to make four of these, okay? So there is my new version, all right? And then I'm gonna crease it down the middle. I'm going to give it a little fold like that. And what I want you to do with these, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it, is I want you to combine these wider ones with the narrower ones. And you'll see that when you do that, you're going to start to get this form that begins to radiate. So the first one you're going to do is going to be composed simply of these. It's going to go straight across. You'll be able to take it, if you tape it together, you'll be able to flex it a little bit because as these pieces kind of, as these stretch and these flex, it'll start to curve, okay? But you'll only get so far with it. Then after that, you're gonna take and put these wide ones, which you'll have four of, and you're gonna see that you're gonna get a lot more ability to flex it because of the width there, okay? Any questions about that? So. This should be a relatively simple exercise for you guys to do. So, um, any questions? No? All right, go ahead and stop the video.